TerraCycle's purpose is to eliminate the idea of waste by making things that are non-recyclable, recyclable. And the way we do that is we work with major companies, everything from major food companies like Kraft and Frito-Lay to consumer product companies like Kimberly Clark, P&G, all the way to Big Tobacco. And we create national collection programs for their category of waste where consumers can send us their waste uh, and we provide shipping and sometimes a donation. And then with the collected waste, we either reuse it, upcycle it, or recycle it to make something new. And with that approach, in now 23 countries, we've been able to make many things that had no option except landfill now have an option of a circular solution. So TerraCycle's been growing for 10 years in a row. Today we're in 23 countries and we're opening a new country roughly every six months. So uh, TerraCycle New Zealand launches in uh, July, uh, then Australia is planned to launch two months after, and uh, I'm heading out uh, with our team to China and Japan to start uh, setting up our offices there. So we're really looking at opening in many more countries. In addition to that, we're then looking at how do we expand the number of waste streams we collect in every country so that we're having more programs available to the local public. So in the US, for example, we collect 60 unique types of waste, everything from shoes to pens to chip bags and cigarettes and uh, 56 others. In other countries, we may only have one or two programs, so the idea is how do we add more and more programs and then grow those programs to be as big as possible. Our fundamental goal as a business is to be able to operate in all countries, and offer some form of program for every type of non-recyclable waste that exists. Then it's up to the consumers to choose whether it makes sense to participate in those programs. And it comes to us the challenge on how do we make it easier for the consumer while making it cheaper for whomever is paying for the system itself. When you eliminate the idea of waste, I think it's a two-pronged solution. And companies like TerraCycle are the reaction to the solution or not the answer. The true answer is consumption. The problem is we just buy way too much stuff and we define ourselves by what we buy. To really solve the idea of waste, consumers need to effectively stop buying. If they can't go there, then at least buy used, durable products. Now this will create a major negative to the economy, but that's the repercussion of actually living sustainably. Outside that, once waste is created, then the solution is to collect the waste in separated ways, because the more combined it is, the harder it is to not burn or bury it. And by creating separated collection systems, uh, from there you can move any type of waste into a circular solution, whether it's reuse, upcycling, or recycling. But the important message here is that the answer isn't the solution to the garbage, the answer is not producing garbage to begin with, which I think is the most difficult conversation for any major company to have. I think one of the hardest challenges for a company like TerraCycle is that when we go into major companies, we're not com uh, already a system that they understand. It's not like the paper they're buying or the advertising space they're buying. What we need to do with uh, our, uh, our clients is convince them that their non-recyclable waste is an issue and that we're then a great solution for it. And that's one of the challenges I think in sustainable uh, programs, whether it's marketing-based programs or operational-based programs, we're a hybrid of both, is to begin by first convincing the brands that there's an issue and then that we're the solution because before we walked in they may have not even perceived an issue to begin with.